guys, welcome back to our channel. We're so happy to have you here. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Your support means so much to us. If you're new, my name is Brianne and my husband's name is Andrew and we are on a health and fitness journey using WW. And today I just got back from getting a lot of groceries. So it's a little bit bigger haul uh, this time. I went to Walmart, Target, Albertsons and Trader Joe's because my last Trader Joe's haul showed me some really good stuff that I couldn't live without. So I had to do another impromptu trip all the way to Fort Worth to get some Trader Joe's stuff. So it's a big variety. Um, and I will try and say the points of everything. I think I know almost everything now. Um, and there's some new items. This is not, warning, this is not the healthiest um, haul because winter flavors are out mm, and i am an eggnog girl i love my ginger my cinnamon oh all the winter winter goodies um so there's a couple probably shouldn't have bought but i was hungry when i was shopping unfortunately anyways so let's get right into it and any questions about any items if you had any of them and liked them throw them down in the comments we'd love to hear from you so let's go ahead and get started so we'll start down here with the Walmart stuff, um, some bread. I'm trying to find, the, the Sara Lee bread is great for low calories, but it's like half air. So sometimes you want a really good bread. This is great though, um, when you're using it in like a sandwich or like a grilled cheese. We like using them to keep the points low. One point per slice, 45 calories per slice. So we still use it a lot, but I wanted some other options. So I'm trying out this Mrs. Baird's the small size honey butter. It is two points per slice, so two for one, four for two, which is a little high. It's 70 calories per one, but it's real bread. So uh, sometimes you just crave that real bread taste and flavor and texture. So we're gonna try that out, see if we like it. And this is a substitution. I originally wanted from Walmart the um, Sam's Choice of the uh, Hawaiian suit rolls because it was less points and less calories. Uh, the Sam's Choice is 70 calories and two points per one roll, but this King's Hawaiian brand is 90 calories per roll, three points for one roll. But it's okay because they are nice big rolls. I love these guys. If I'm wanting a roll, I want a roll, you know? So I'll go ahead and take a three-point hit easily with like my spaghetti or pasta or soup if I want a roll. So we picked up that. And I guess I'll start back here. We've got two boxes of pastaroni. These are great. We love these as a really quick dinner with chicken or shrimp. The, the flavors can range anywhere from um, eight points to about 12 points for half the box. So per serving with the milk and, she and um, butter. So they're really, really great if you've got a good chunk of points like I do on green and Andrew does because he keeps his breakfast low. So these are great to have on hand. And then we just got some more orzo pasta. We're doing another recipe with that. We do that in our um, Greek lemon chicken soup, which is really great, but we're going to try another recipe with that. So I just picked up a box. And then if you've seen the past few grocery hauls, I love this as an afternoon snack. It is two points for two of the sticks and they're really good size, 80 calories for two. So I just needed some more of that. This is Andrew's favorite ham. He prefers the deli ham, but when you're doing online order, I don't know, it's just easier to get the prepackaged. But one ounce, um, or I'm sorry, two ounces of this is only one point. So he puts this with like grilled cheeses. So he does a grilled ham and cheese with tomato basil soup or whatever. And then he likes to cut it up and pan fry it in his breakfast, if you've seen that. But that's what he uses. And we just got another one. And then these, again, if you watched last time, the southern sweet tea and the strawberry watermelon are my two favorite water flavors i like mixing them really great and then this is just a can of beef gravy for our um kfc bowls and then i'm gonna try out my mom tried something she's on weight watchers too um <laughs> She mixed the ranch seasoning, she saw it online also, into the plain Greek yogurt. I'm not a fan of plain Greek yogurt, but when she had it at her house and I tried it, it was really good. The only thing is be aware of your seasoning packets because they will be points and calories. So um, this one is, it doesn't look like it's in calories, but it is one point for 
one tablespoon. So it's zero points up to a tablespoon. So like if you use teaspoon worth, but one tablespoon is one point, two for two, and I think it's three for two, and then four for three. So that in one of these, which I'm blanking. I think this is, yeah, this is two points for one of these. So you could have maybe a three point snack. I don't know how many this needs. So maybe I'd say a four point snack because then we got these mini cucumbers. I am excited about these because I want to dice them up in discs. I hope they're crunchier because that would be great. And then we've got, skipping on here, um, the little mini sweet peppers. Um, we're going to use that also with the Laughing Cow Cheese and everything but the bagel seasoning. But we're also going to use it with the ranch dip for a little treat, a little snack that's not carbs and more carbs in, <laughs> you know. And then just some lettuce for some salads. And that's all from Walmart. And then we've got a few things from Target here. Of course, it's the best place for us to find the blackened chicken strips. So we just picked up two bags of those. We already still have a bag. And oh, oh I love eggnog. I absolutely love it. I actually don't know the points on this, but <laughs> half a cup. Four ounces, 170 calories. That's ridiculous. If I were to guess, I'd say at least six to eight points for half a cup. But I will control myself. I just had to buy it because it's my favorite, my favorite treat. I, I love it. I love it. But I'll put the points down in the description for that. I don't know that one. That was an impulse buy. So, and then the last two things from Target were just two water flavors. I've never tried either of these, so I just picked them up at Target. Now, there's a few things from Albertsons. That's where we can get our NYX. It's the only place near us that has NYX. NYX, uh, the coffee caramel is two points per serving and it's half a cup per serving. So this entire container is only eight points. Same with the Swedish cookie dough, two points for half a cup, eight points for the whole container. And then this is a new one I'm gonna try, Open Nature Scandalous, 290 calories. I liked it because it was sea salt caramel. That's the coffee caramels are great, but I love sea salt caramel. This one is four points per serving, but the serving is two third cups. So if it's right, this will be about 12 points for the whole pint, but really two thirds cup is a great, great serving size. So it's a little bit bigger of a serving as this, but it's four points per serving. Uh, I'll let you guys know if that's good. These are amazing, amazing. I'll let you know about that one. And then this one's just for Andrew. He really likes Enlightened. This one is three points per serving. And I believe it's half a cup. So 12 points for this whole container as well. So these two are about, run about the same. So those we got from Albertsons. And then the other things we get from Albertsons are the extra crispy shake and bakes. And the Parmesan crust is shake and bakes. Shake and bake has, is no longer being sold at Target or Walmart. So we have to go to Albertsons specifically to get it. So we just stock up on that a little bit. And then just some produce, just some bananas, two spaghetti squash, and now we're getting into the Trader Joe's stuff. So Trader Joe's is the cheapest spaghetti squash. It is only $3 per spaghetti squash. It's not per pound, that's crazy. So we got one of those. And if you've seen my post on Instagram, do not sleep on this, do not wait. It's seasonal, get you some delicata squash. I fried them up and they were so good. And so I fried them up for Andrew, who's not really a vegetable person. I didn't tell him what I thought it tasted like, but he asked me, does this taste like a fry to you? And I'm like, yes, it tastes just like a French fry. I mean, obviously a squash, but the way you, when you air fry it, if you close your eyes, you really, really, really couldn't tell a difference between that and like a good steak fry. Now, McDonald's crunchy fries or any of the skinny fries, yeah, that's not the same. But a good potatoey steak fry, very, very similar. It has a mild sweet potato flavor to it. Way more sweet potato flavor than yellow squash, but it's a kind of a mix of those two. So if you like yellow squash, there's a bit of an aftertaste of that, but mostly spaghetti squash and mostly just like potato, to be honest. So. They are only a dollar at Trader Joe's. That's insane. So I had to like stock up because I'll try not to eat one a day. Anyways, but yeah, like we mentioned before, this is from Trader Joe's. It's the mini peppers. Um, Target had some, but I just, they're cheaper at Trader Joe's. So I just got some of those. We're gonna put, like I said, the Laughing Cow Cheese and the really popular stuff that a lot of people do on Weight Watchers or on Instagram. We're gonna do that. So 
if you saw in our last Trader Joe's haul, I had that freezer meal of the chicken tikka masala um, over rice, and it was so, so good. And I've been looking at recipes for how to make homemade chicken tikka masala, and it's really, really, like, inclusive. Like, it's very, inclusive's not the right word, but it's very, very involved. So Trader Joe's had a already created masala sauce, which is great. So how you get it to be chicken tikka is you marinate the chicken in um, like a yogurt base, which makes it chicken tikka. And then the masala sauce is made of a bunch of, um, a bunch of Indian spices and, and tomato base. So I'm skipping a step <laughs> by getting the simmer sauce, this masala sauce from Trader Joe's, but it's, it looks really good. It is, so for half a cup, it is 90 calories and four points, which is pretty high, but if you put it over chicken breast and then some rice or even cauliflower rice, it's definitely, I'm, I'm not kidding. If you've never had masala, I, I don't, you have to try it. It's so, so, so good, so flavorful. It is not spicy, it's very herby. If you've never had Indian food, it's hard to describe, but the amount of flavor is so, it's just, I, I, can't, I can't even explain it, but it's just really, really good. And then we picked up two more of these creamy spinach artichoke dip. It is one point for one tablespoon all the way up till you finish uh, pretty much for the whole container. So really, really great. It is, I think it's 45, cal yeah, 45 calories for two tablespoons, but it is one point per tablespoon. So two tablespoons would be two points, but really, really great as a um, pasta sauce as we used it. And I was told by a friend I have on Instagram, Wendy, shout out. But she told me to try the potato pancakes, and she said they were amazing. And so I decided not to wait, and I got two of them. And so two of the pancakes, 150 calories, it is four points for two pancakes. So that's pretty good. I probably put with some breakfast, so we're definitely going to try this out. Look to our Instagram for any reviews on the items that we haven't tried. We will leave a review when we do try them, definitely. Okay, and the not so goodies for your health, but goodies for your tongue. <laughs> but we'll start down here. So, if you saw our Instagram, we tried both of these. Oh my goodness, they are legit candy bars. Like, I had this was the reason I went back to Trader Joe's 100%. This caramel cashew is so darn good. It's literally a Three Musketeers with caramel. Like, I'm not kidding. And a little, there's cashews on top, but you barely notice those because they're so soft. But literally, if you like a Three Musketeers, this guy. 200 calories, five points. Andrew really liked this one. I think he likes both. I prefer this one. As weird as it is, this one does have a cream inside um, or a white chocolate or something, but it's way more dark, not dark chocolate, but it's way more... It's got a deeper chocolate flavor. It's still five points, 200 calories as well, but I really prefer this one. It's a lighter, lighter milk chocolate flavor. Super, super good, and you can definitely taste the caramel. But it doesn't stick to your teeth. I hate those, I'm going to say, those built bars that would, like, get stuck to your teeth. That's not like that. It's soft, but it's, oh, it's just so good. And then Andrew really loved these. He tried that one. It tastes like, he said, like a, uh, like a nutty bar. So he, I picked up two more of them. They are, let's see, 215 calories for one. They are seven points. And I think there's two little, no, it looks like there's only one little wafer in there. But it is seven points for this. He said it was worth it. It was really, really good. Okay, and on to the not so good for your health, but good for your taste buds, guys. I love ginger so much. These ginger snaps are 120 calories for six cookies. It is six points for six cookies. Uh, honestly worth it. You can split it down to three, I think, for three points, which would be your best option. But still really great. Not too bad on calories. So, and they're, they're addicting. So, I might have to be able to <laughs> try and control myself with those because I grew up loving these. This is a new one I haven't tried before. Um, I love pecan. I love butterscotch. I love a good pecan cookie. They're really crumbly. Um, so I was excited to see these, but they are, let's see, 130 calories for 10 cookies. It is six points for 10 cookies, which is really great. Actually, point-wise, for 10 cookies, I won't eat 10 cookie cookies, so you can break it down to, like, three points worth or whatever. So that's really good. And I saw both of these, the vanilla and the cocoa, um, wafer cookies on Instagram. 
um, and I love the, um, what was it, Pirelines, so I decided to give it a try. It is the <laughs> highest point option here for your volume, so two pieces, 120 calories, which is the same calories, but it's, it's five points for two of the little wafers for both flavors, so we'll definitely let you know if it's worth five points and 120 calories. We'll see, we'll see, but I decided, you know, Having them maybe with a treat morning with a coffee would be amazing on a cold morning. So we don't restrict ourselves. We just know portion control is key. So that's why we are able to buy these things and not go too crazy. I know some people can't. So don't worry if you literally can't have it in your house. My mom literally had to throw this out. Actually, she gave it to us. But <laughs> she had another one of these and she, was, she couldn't stop eating them because she loves them. So some people, I, I don't know. Whatever your trigger is, like for me, it's chips. Whatever it is, don't be ashamed to just not have it in the house if you can. So, anyways, that was my TED Talk. So, anyways, so this popcorn is to die for. The herbs in it, I don't know what, like, let's see. So, it is two cups, 140 calories for four points, which is right on par with the pre-pop popcorn, all that you, any brand. And so, it's got... The dried yeast, which I think might give it a little bit of the cheesy flavor. We've got dill, celery seed, onion powder, spice. I wish, tell me what those spices are. Anyways, the dill is just so, so good. Like, if you have a Trader Joe's near you, get the popcorn. If you can get anything, the Bear Bells and the popcorn. Like, no lie. So, yeah, that is our semi-large, but not too big from like seven million different stores <laughs> so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this i hope you guys found something of interest to you if you have any questions about any of the items like i said before throw them down in the comments we love hearing from you i think i gave the points on everything um in the video i will put the eggnog down below because i don't, i don't even know if i want to scan it four ounces for having 170 calories mm -mm -mm. But anyway, so I'll put that down, down in the description. And yeah, so if you have any questions on anything, just give us a holler. Let us know how you're doing. Let us know what your favorite item from these stores is. If you've tried any of these things, let us know. We really appreciate watching our video and we will see you guys in the next one.